I'm Margaret Wheeler, AMGA instructor team member. I'm going to show you how to do a wishbone turn, which is a way to set up for a kick turn in steeper terrain. As you ascend on your track angle, once you've found where you want to do your kick turn, walk a few steps past and let your angle ease off just a little bit. Then you can execute your kick turn. And when you leave, make sure you don't leave on too steep an angle and then continue on your way. The reason we call it a wishbone turn is it makes a wishbone pattern in the snow. Here I'm in steeper terrain and there's a little bit of soft snow, so it could be tricky for a beginner to do their kick turn and get their skis caught uh, as they're making it. So I'm gonna help them out by prepping the place for the kick turn. You can do that in a number of ways. So I'm gonna make a platform for them. That way when they go to do their kick turn, they have some clearance. So you can see how where I've cleared, it makes it easier for their ski tip to come around. If I hadn't cleared it, you could see how somebody's ski tip could get stuck in a pretty precariously balanced position. So it can be worth the effort to prep the turn, whether it's to make a kick turn easier or to make it so that you can prevent someone having to do a kick turn. You can use your ski poles. So I'm doing this to make it easier for somebody to get their ski tip around. And now there's a clear way and they're not gonna get their tip stuck. That makes it so that every person that then follows through can have a lower exertion kick turn. So if with this kick turn corner, I need to do a little bit more work, then I might need to use my shovel. That could happen if I've got somebody that's got a really heavy pack and I might want to avoid making them do a kick turn, or if there's some consequences below, or if somebody simply hasn't learned kick turns yet. So what I can do in that case is utilize my shovel to prep the corner. Now this takes more time, so your people are gonna be stopping and starting. Uh, you'll find you might use this more often in a place where you would be returning to the track, either on another day or later that same day. So as I'm doing this, I'm bringing the snow from uphill to downhill. That fills in the platform and I don't have to dig as far into the hill. Then the idea is somebody can come and do an ADA turn in place without having to do a kick turn. Be aware that if you're doing this technique, it might not be the best thing to do if you're gonna be skiing down the same way. You basically dug a bunch of holes in your ski line. So you can see this takes some extra time. So the advantage again, it can prevent somebody having to do a kick turn. The disadvantage is that it can be slow, but you can work around that. Either you can do this with the track you're gonna be coming back to, or if you've got a couple of guides, one guide can be out doing the kick turns and the other can be pacing the group behind.